Hello everybody, my name is Max, welcome back to the Lime Ball channel. In today's video we start a brand new series doing Lime Ball tips and tricks where we will take an individual shot within Lime Ball, it could be a good shot, a bad shot, explaining what makes it good or bad, what the player could have done differently and what the outcome was, the thought process is and we're going to try and do this weekly so a nice little series to have on a Thursday just to go alongside our usual regular Tuesday uploads which are a bit longer than these shorter videos. So in this video you can see Chris right now he is about to take his shot, he is playing the yellows, it's his job to try and get a yellow below the line into the scoring zone. So that bit at the bottom of the table where you've got the black and the red on the right, that is the scoring zone. So you can see also by the scorecard at the bottom that red currently has one point because they've got one red ball in there. So you take it in turns if you don't know the rules of line ball. Yellows will play a shot, red will play a shot, back and forth. Whoever's got the most in the scoring zone at the end will win. If you need to learn the rules of line ball, check out all the links in the description so you can learn all the rules. If you hit the black at any point on your go, you lose. If you pot a ball on your go, you lose. Bearing all that in mind, let's go through the scenarios. As this episode, we're trying to focus on the attacking shots, but let me first show you what a good defensive play would have been. For Chris to play it down the left-hand side of the table here, he could have come off the cushion and nestled the yellow ball just comfortably on the left-hand side. This would have been a nice shot because it's nice and safe, it's near the pocket, but we're not here for defensive shots. We're here to explore what his options were for attack shots. So let's look at this one first. This is the first solution that could have happened. He could have played it onto the top part of the red, nestling the yellow with a bit of just slightly on the bottom of the yellow ball, stunning it into the red so that it just tucks in nicely into the side and stays to the cushion. And the red ball comes off against the backboard and then goes up the table out of the scoring zone. That's one option. You always risk with this kind of shot a double kiss, which could take the red towards the black, and that's always quite risky. Next is this shot where you come off the side cushion on the right first. This is also dangerous because even though it leaves the yellow in probably a better, safer spot, the red will run very close to the black ball and it will end up getting all the way out of the zone if you hit it with enough power, but there is that chance you clip the black ball and then lose your game. So here is what Chris actually did. Here's the setup for it. He went straight down to the backboard first and hit red from behind. The yellow ball will then stun off it into the open space behind and the red will go all the way up the table back to the line of reds at the top being a brilliant attack shot. Here is that shot in full now. I was like, are we watching pool or line ball pool? You know, Max becoming very well versed in pool, like his um, dad, John. Um, so we are seeing a bit of experience uh, um, in the pool side, but not going to be very useful in line ball. Thank you to Chris for showing that great shot within our Vanguard Invitational Tournament. Hope you enjoyed this short little video, learning what made this attack shot really good. It's quite simple, so as we go on with these videos, we will go over some more complicated situations. And don't forget to check out our brand new Patreon link in the description. You can support Lion Ball. We're trying to fund the table hire, prize pools, editing costs, commentary for our tournaments, all of that good stuff. So if you can support us with the link in the description, the benefits you'll get is you will get more tips and tricks videos like this that go into even more detail you'll get your name on the end card of some of our upcoming videos we'll show our appreciation and you'll help keep line ball going thanks for watching everyone have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon